Namaste. Today we'll do a flip through of Americana coloring book which I have just received. And I had actually ordered this more than a month ago. It has taken a long time for it to reach me. I offhand do not know anything more than the fact that I had actually liked a cover and that's why I had ordered this book. So I don't know who the illustrator is or what the concept is other than maybe uh, American way of life. I'm thinking that is the concept. This is just the title. So let's do a flip through and uh, see what more is there in this one. So this is a creative happen book. And what I noticed that in addition to the title of the book, there is something written on top of it, which is the Saturday Evening Post. So I'm guessing that some sort of a local or national newspaper. And I don't know if they have published it. Maybe we'll find more details inside. Uh, the picture here depicts a small boy trying to choose a sweet and... Uh, I like the way this picture is capturing daily life. The shopkeeper is bored waiting for the child to decide. And I also like how one cents each. I doubt if you can buy anything for one cent now. But uh, yeah. So, oh, rendered for coloring by Marty Noble. So, that's good. So, at least we know who the illustrator is. This is a colored sample page. And it's looking very beautiful. But I doubt if I will be able to ever color like this. Mm, but it is an interesting scene. And here are some kids dressed as cowboys. So the e Saturday Evening Post has been in the print for nearly 200 years. So it's, it's a very famous. What I understand from this write-up is that these illustrations originally were created by other famous artists for the Saturday Evening Post. So maybe Marty Noble has... Mm, fine-tuned them to be ready for coloring or to be able to be able to print them in a coloring book maybe so this one was first published by Dover publication in 2017 this specific copy looks like it's manufactured in 2020 let's go through this This is the cover page. Okay, and also behind each page they have given uh, when this original uh, picture was printed and who had illustrated it. So, example, this one was Dripping Cones, Stevan Duhanos. And it was printed on... 1940, 29th July 1944. That's very interesting. So, I'm actually very excited to see what other scenes they have depicted.
this seems to be a baker who's finalizing putting final touches to a wedding cake and this was printed in 1945 this is looking like a pet or oh no it's written a hardware store and 1946 This is men working. 1947. This would be a very difficult picture to color with the water, water splashing. And there is a lot of humor in these uh, pictures. Like example, if you see this one, right? Men working. And then there's a guy actually catching up on his uh, nap. Or this truck having the words dry cleaning written on it and it's actually splashing so much of water on the bystanders this is two kids learning or playing baseball he's trying to uh, oh originally i thought he's trying to draw butterfly but i think he's uh, he's actually uh, making a journal for some of the insects that he has caught. Yeah, the picture is called The Collector and it was printed in 1951. So a family comes home. And of course, <laughs> the title of the page is also Home at Last. I guess this is a policeman taking a break and having an ice cream. This one is called Babies and Bananas and for a moment I was wondering where are the bananas and then suddenly I realized they are at the top of the page. So, kids go out on a rowboat and then swim and dive. No girls allowed. <laughs> so the boys want to have all the fun. It is so, Ill, uh, there are so many small things that you can notice in this picture, you know, if you really look at it longer. Uh, they have clothes drying out there and they have tied the utensils outside so as to not occupy the space inside the house. And they made a box for the dog to be taken up and down. He seems to have actually got hurt and there's a bandage on his back. And there's somebody cooking over there in the window. Okay, this was the one which was uh, on the first page. And they're looking at wanted posters. So this kid is wanting to learn to fly. And I, I guess that's why they dragged the mattress out. And I look at all these things here. means they built the contraption themselves. And the mother is worried. The father probably livid. And the neighbors are all either curious or find the situation quite funny. So he seems to be some baseball star who is signing autographs. I'm sorry, I don't know any baseball player. So I don't know if they, this person is a well-known player or is, was this a, just a generic illustration. And then... Father is ready to go to sleep and getting the kids to brush their teeth. And I also again like how there are small details. If you see this child is not tall enough for the washstand. He is standing on the edge of the bathtub. And the other child is having a stool to help her up. 
whereas the eldest one is now tall enough to reach and then there's one shoe here and the other shoe is there which probably wouldn't have happened if mom was around to make them brush their teeth but yeah it looks like they are raiding the fridge oh poor daddy <laughs> So this is also a nice uh, scene, family enjoying their time together and maybe the child thinks it's a good idea to water his father. This is a very cute scene where the daughter is helping the father with his style and look so cute. The shoes are ready. And these are probably dress shoes because they have the shape holders inside. This is also a very funny scene. I think the librarian is trying to guess why this kid is having so much fun just reading a book called The History of the World. <laughs> and he's actually having fun because there's a frog next to him. Again, a very a, a picture depicting a very emotional and important stage in a family life mother has brought her child to buy the first pair of heels <laughs> i was wondering why the expression of the father is that way and then i noticed that's not a carrot head which is out standing out from the parcel it's their child <laughs> they are looking so tired so their baby is a handful huh? this is the one which they had covered colored on the cover page and so again keep cool where I think this is probably the temp, uh, the thermometer which is showing that the temperature is quite high. <laughs> so a couple with uh, opposing likes, she wants to sunbathe and he obviously doesn't want. So he's covered himself completely. And not just by all this, but look at how many things he has put on himself. I'm thinking that's for himself. Because she seems to have lesser things on her side. Okay. A barbecue party going on. These two look like some servicemen, postmen, something like that. And they're grabbing a bite. Oh, poor dad. <laughs> So he wants to get on with his hobby which looks like stamps over here when I look at it and then the kids come in and make so much noise. Okay and this kid has obviously just come from swimming and has made the whole floor wet and then he's just without oh I think he's even made the stool wet and then without bothering to dry up he's already playing the piano this is going to get in a lot of trouble <laughs> okay so uh, salon and the kid is bored of waiting for his mom to finish he brought some toys with him but he still got bored because it's taking so long So oh, this is the one which we saw with the policeman. Oh, this has been colored very beautifully. I really don't think I can do it that much justice. Okay, so there were 30 Saturday evening post cover designs to color. I really like this book. Each illustration is like telling a story about a family 
or about a person uh, in the picture and this is a really really nice collection i i enjoyed this book very much at least in the flip through also i hope i enjoy coloring it as well and if you wish to purchase this one i'll put a link for this in the description box below and i really think this is a very nice book you should have it in your collection so if you have not yet subscribed then please do so thanks for stopping by have a nice day bye